how's it going? I'm just checking out a new microphone that I got recently. This is the ST170 from Sterling. And what's special about it to me is that it's a ribbon microphone that's actually affordable and it's an active ribbon microphone too. So I stumbled upon it. I was watching Pete Thorne's channel probably a couple of months ago and he was talking about it. Somebody mentioned it in his live chat. So that's how I heard about it. Um, it's only available on a few websites in the US and from what I understand, it's the uh, the house brand for a musician's friend. If I'm wrong, correct me, but... And yeah, what makes it special is it's 169 bucks US. So if you compare that to your average ribbon mic, it's a huge saving. And when somebody like Pete Thorne says that it's good for the price and that it's... Well, I guess he said it's just really good overall. That's what got me interested in it. So uh, I spent the last couple of weeks with it and trying it out. And in this video, we're gonna plug it in, have it uh, mic'd up with uh, that amp in the background there, the Vox Mini Super Beetle. And I'm gonna go back and forth between this mic and the uh, SM57, just to show you the difference between a close mic, SM57, which is dynamic, and a powered active ribbon mic. You'll see lots of close-ups. I took some nice pictures. Not only does it sound good and it's quiet, it looks really cool. This is what you get with it. It comes in a nice little case. Pop it open, have a look, do some more close-ups. And so you got the mic there. Uh, it comes with a shock mount, an SM5. Is that what they call it? I believe that was the term. Yeah, SM5 shock mount. It's got like these elastic springs that hold it in. And it comes with another bag of more springs, I guess, in case you break them. Um, let's just look at it quickly here. It's very cool looking. Very cool. Like I said, it is active. So it requires phantom power. Let me just take a, you can have a look. At some beautiful shots. It just takes, it's so photogenic. I'll just talk about some specs. If you know microphones, this stuff will make sense to you. If not, it's all new. It's uh, an active ribbon figure eight pattern. Uh, frequency response 20 to 20 kilohertz. Maximum SPL, 132 dB. Uh, weight wise, it's 11.4 uh, ounces. It's pretty light. It's got some got some weight to it though. Like it's it's not overall heavy. Like I mentioned before, 48 volt phantom power is required. You need that. You won't be able to use it without phantom power. And it comes with the case, comes with the shock mount. And I'm in Canada, so I didn't pay 169. I paid like 285, which you're probably saying is crazy how to go from 169. That's the conversion. There's also duty shipping fees to get to Canada. A couple other specs on here that I'm not really familiar with. Uh, it's got something here called a magnetic stabilizing ring. I've never heard of that. A primary crystal, crystal energy chamber. Not really sure what they're talking about there. Um, maybe if I actually take a look at the, let me take a look at it closer, see what they're talking about. Never heard of that on micro. That's terms I've never heard of on a microphone. So, okay, there's a little, Oh, I didn't notice this before. Something I definitely didn't notice on it before. It's got this little, uh, this is kind of weird. What is this? Oh, I didn't expect this. Okay, so it doubles as a lightsaber. That's new to me. That's cool. Let's try it out. There you go. Yeah, I guess that's what the uh, crystal energy chamber must be uh, doing this or something. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with lightsabers, especially ones that come out of microphones. Anyways, let's uh, check that out. Kind of cool. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that. Let's have a listen. Let's check it out.
Yeah, and uh, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. This has been the ST170 from Sterling. Check it out. I'll put the link to the, the official website and I guess musician's friend, musician friend, I'll put that link. Put the links where you can get it, where I got it from, and check it out. Also, let me know in the comments what you thought about it compared to the SM57. I got it about six inches away from the speaker. We start pulling back, then it starts to lose some uh, low end response, right? Which is common. I mean, that's gonna happen with any microphone. So, um, it's just, it's something I plan to use kind of in, in sync with the SM57. Uh, I always found that just having a close mic, I would do a demo and then I'd go back and listen to it and surprise myself and not really hear what I was hearing in the room. And ribbon mics are better known for being able to produce that, right? They're capturing sound from the front and from the back, getting more of a real type of sound that I'm hearing, which is what I want to present in videos. So anyways, that's cool. <clears throat> All right, if you haven't uh, already subscribed to my channel, please do that. Uh, click the notification bell. Check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter, check out my Facebook page. All the links are below. Got some merch on Teespring, check that out. Uh, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. All right.